Hey, how's it going guys? Well, enough of the intro, let's get right into the point of this video. I'm sure you read the title. Link in the description, go ahead and click it to download the software here. This is going to be how to use the PS4's remote play feature. Um, so just scroll down to the Windows PC button or whichever you're using it on, uh, Android, iOS. Install the application and then once it's installed, we're going to go through this process. Click Accept, click Next, you guys know the drill. Um, and then we can get started with the actual setup. Alrighty, so it's all installed here. We are going to open it up now. Just doing a quick update and then you'll get to this screen. So use this PC, enjoy your PS4, even while you're away. Go ahead, click the next or wait till it responds. Uh, and you're going to need to sign in to your PSN account here. So it doesn't matter whether you're on your phone right now, your tablet or another computer, just sign in with your regular login for PSN. And then you should get a screen that looks like this. So just a searching for PS4. So at this point, make sure your PS4 is on and it is going to be looking for your PS4 on the same network. Uh, one thing you're going to have to do on your PS4 is go to the settings, make sure that remote play one is enabled and make sure that's all checked off there. So it's using it. And then when you click add device, you'll get this code. And that is the code you're going to enter into the program that shows right here for it to link. Another thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your PS4 um, has these settings in its power saving mode. You want to make sure both of these are checked, the stay connected to the internet and the enable turning on PS4 from network. This is so if your PS4 is in sleep mode uh, and you're at you know your friend's house and you want to play, it'll turn your PS4 on and start streaming it. So otherwise, if you don't have these checked, you're not going to be able to use it unless you're at home, which kind of defeats the purpose of the whole remote play. Um, so make sure those two options are checked. And then after you finish entering in those digits, it will connect to your PS4 and immediately show you the live stream and you are connected. Uh, and you can see here how it's working. I just have a USB cable plugged in to the actual controller to my Microsoft tablet. Uh, and I just have this in the bathroom just to show you guys that it can be used anywhere. I wouldn't recommend playing this in the bathroom, but hey, you do you. Uh, and you see here how it works. Um, if you go really fast, you will see a, some lag there. So this is really dependent on your internet connection. If you have a slow internet connection, this just isn't going to work because it needs to be able to stream it with low enough latency to where you can play the game uh, without having interruptions on your controls. And then as you can see here, you can also hear the actual sound come out of whatever device you're using. Um, so it all works pretty seamlessly right here. I'm just showing off Spyro. I haven't tested this on any like first person shooters, um, but those again, it's all going to depend on your internet connection. If you want a better experience, you're going to have to make sure you have really good internet. I recommend uh, actually keeping your PS4 connected directly to your router via ethernet cable. That way it has the best connection and then just make sure you're using a great wireless connection. And that is it for this video guys. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you learned something. Hope this was easy and I'll see you guys in the next one.